Click the link now to subscribe. Shalawuz billahi min shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Alhamdulillah, reminder from myself that that the the hikmah of only Allah in our lives is something that you can't imagine. That Sayyidina Khidr is in the tariqat al naqshbandiyat al aliyah, and if that was confusing for Nabi Musa, imagine that normal people in the interaction with the tariqah and the the depth in which the tariqah is located into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad by its signs and its miracles is the immensity of knowledges that are flowing. The miracle of lifting yourself and levitating for people is one that will make people to be jealous and clown-like figure. Naqshbandi's miracle is knowledge. Because it's not something that raises the ego and angers the ego of other people, but the miracle of knowledge in which what Mawlana Shah Naqshban had asked for is something that dresses the students for all of eternity. Because these knowledges of the soul are immense and priceless, not any wealth of yours on this dunya could have even compensated for one drop of it. That by the time you hear this knowledge and by the time you sleep, your soul has a permission to ask Allah I heard something and what was its reality Ya Rabbi and let my soul too swim in its oceans of reality. That's the immensity of being able to have access to these realities and what type of dress and blessing Allah would dress the soul and that's the ni'mah that Allah destined. I want you to hear this and from all over the world they click either now, later or in I don't know how many years because this plays for a long time. As soon as they hear it and Allah open for them that opportunity, their soul will have access into its realities for all of eternity. So the miracle of knowledge is that which dresses and is the food and the sustenance of all haqqaiqs and the mirage of the soul is in the mirage of ilm and these are the ilmu yaqeen. Through that ilm opens up the ainu yaqeen, the vision and the reality of your soul with its spiritual power and as a result you swim into the oceans of haqq yaqeen. When we see from the immensity of their connection that they begin to teach us that, bravo for those whom are in different areas and doing their charity work for the organization. The food and the feeding of people in this area in Los Angeles, they had a feeding today with a food truck. We have our food truck going out tomorrow and the next few days another food truck going out and a beautific event in a mawlid in Pakistan in an orphanage. In an orphanage in a country in which the likelihood of those children actually surviving and living till the age that they become rushed and grow very short, very difficult odds in their life of abuse, of immense horrific events that they do to children and the likelihood of them surviving to a reasonable age just to get through this difficulty. It's not like your children and my children that going to a festivity. This is a, a way in which to like a taweez for us that, Ya Rabbi these are whom maybe people don't look at and that we want them to eat from this Mawlid and Nabi We want them to feel the immense love and the nazar that Sayyidina Muhammad is watching over them. And Ya Rabbi that give us a strength to help them for the sake of helping our own families. How you can pray for your own children but you don't care for anyone else's. Everything to you and yourself is dear. You have a child in the womb and child on the floor in your house and everything is so dear for you but yet you don't think about all of Sayyidina Muhammad's children. And their hikmah and their wisdom in these days of difficulty and people dropping like uh, left and right. 
from sicknesses, from calamities, from violence, from things that can't be even imagined. Then they're inspired like a taweez, a protection, immediately help, help those in need, do these projects and ask people to contribute to them so that they can partake in this ni'mat and this blessing that being dressed upon you and the efforts that your people are doing. They want people to share in that blessing and you can't understand the immensity and how Allah works to take away difficulties until the day in which you don't give, you don't do and you don't do according to your ability. Your life was not to come to take an immense paycheck and pay off your mortgage fast. That's a Wahhabi mentality. That's a, a weird mentality that you think you're just going to pay everything off and Allah gave you this immense rizq of which none of it is going out to the people and this was about you paying off your mortgage fast. Who cares about your mortgage fast? You have 30 years. Why well, you have to do it in five? What are you doing? There are people who could be eating from that. How much you could be doing of good with that means that shaitan comes to fool us and think, no, no, this is, this is wise. It's not wise. Those whom Allah gave a, a substantial rizq and sustenance to, they're held accountable for when they die the only thing they ask Allah not let me go back and make my prayers but, Ya Rabbi let me go back and give all my charity. These accounts I left for my kids and for my family and for my estates and how they're going to spend it. The only thing they're going to ask Allah let me give it before you give your accounting to me because they're going to be inspired within their heart, you didn't reach your darajat, you didn't reach what Allah wanted you to reach. You reach only the station of self-gratification. You gratified yourself, made yourself feel good. So only Allah come into our life to remind us that you don't know and, and the immensity of, of having a life of meditation that you, you make something, you meditate. When you meditate they inspire within your heart that you should be giving at least 10% of whatever your paycheck is coming right off the top. Allah doesn't work behind the IRS, behind CRA and every other tax authority, Allah works from the top, not the trickle down, what is it called trickle down economics where you give, 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 I have five dollar left, you can have half of it. No, those are just take from the top and you purify your rizq and your sustenance and that's why zak, zaki is to be purified. So we said many times a reminder always for myself, in a time in which we live with sicknesses rampant, all sorts of calamities are on, on the earth right now, visible and invisible to everybody. Zaki means to purify. The sustenance we make is making us sick. The sustenance we make and how we make it and what its effects, it brings every type of sickness and bad character because it's the abode of shaitan and we're living in the abode of shaitan. When you get it you become angry, when you get it you become sick, you become… You become envious, you become every characteristic that the money is coming to you is causing you as a sickness. So Allah who made us gave us understanding zakah, zaki purify yourself, give so that it take away sickness from you, give so that it take away every type of difficulty from you and disattach that infection from your body. For if you begin to hoard it the sickness becomes apparent within you. Even they'll send you dreams and you ignore the dreams that give, be, be generous, take away the sickness from yourself. When you give not only the sickness comes out, you don't know at what moment you're inspired to give and it becomes a shield from difficulty. We said the story before, there was somebody who sat in a zikr a few years ago 
and said, I don't know what's going on after the zikr, I know I have to give a check right now for the center. The minute the check was given, got in a car and smashed it with a truck. And that was a shield for only the vehicle to be crushed and, sh and the person walked away completely unharmed. Because Allah loved that servant and inspired that what coming to you, you have no understanding. We don't know what Allah wrote, what sayat we have done and what the destiny of our families have been put upon us of azab and difficulties coming towards us. And zakah and giving and charity is a shield from difficulty. That if something is coming to you, the giving lessens it, brings it and slows it down so that it hits your house, hits your car, hits the building, breaks the glass but it didn't slaughter and smash you. And that was the reality of zakah, it purifies you. And then when you have a life instant, because I want you to show if you don't know if it's, it's sickening, as soon as something happens in your life and somebody holds your rizq, oh my god imagine how angry you became. They didn't give you the bonus you wanted. They cut your paycheck, they fired you. At that time regulate your heart. So when they stole it, they held it, they grabbed it from coming to you. Allah wants you to know, aren't you training under His meditation? Why aren't you meditating? You, your heart is now panicking, it's shocked, it's angry. Firing off letters, belligerent, some people become violent, some people they change color for money. Then Allah is teaching, that's why we sent a dream, give zakat. That money is making you sick, do you see what it's going to do to you? Faith is not a casino, iman is not a casino. The casino is you say, I'm going to put my chips, whatever comes in, I'm going to give a percentage. Faith is, no, I'm going to give in Allah's way, inshaAllah Allah open for me. That's iman. So when you have a project, because how the mindset is, I have a project, Shaykh, if the project goes through, I'll give. So, but it's not a casino that they take chips afterwards. Iman and the station of iman is, I'm going to give Ya Rabbi open for me if you feel that I'm worthy of that. And they act on everything. The people who established here, before they had a home for themselves they bought this place. Then they waited for their home. Then they say, when I get a lot of extra I'm going to give it to you because no shaitan comes at that time and say, this is not extra, we're going to come short. Because then now you got the claws, he has the claws into the heart of that believer and they will never part with it. They will never part with it until Allah describes to them they died and all they could imagine was the regret and remorse, I did not achieve what I needed to achieve. But that's Yawm al Qiyamah, we're talking right now in the middle of pandemic, destruction and disaster, look how much good can be done. There can be mawlid for orphans, there can be centers, there can be zikrs, there can be so many benefits, feeding, all these things that are like a taweez and a protection for us from every type of azab and calamity. Just release your hands, don't, don't hold tight to this like it's going to last forever. For difficulty comes, all the money in the world won't help you in your bank account if your family and everybody becomes sick and everything falls apart. And the zakah was a shield and a protection. If you didn't understand how Allah was testing you and giving you all these signs then unfortunate for you. Those who understand the signs of Allah doesn't take much to shake them. They went through so much shaking in their life that they quickly pick up signs. When something's not right and it's not flowing you meditate, connect and where on this chain something went wrong. And they know, was their action incorrect? The rizq stopped. Was, was something they said wrong, did wrong, do wrong? They understand how things are flowing and how things are stopping. And that was the whole purpose of tafakkur and contemplation. 
Otherwise it becomes a, a life of calamity where everybody begins to have hardship and difficulty and unimaginable uh, difficulties and they say, Shaykh what happened? I'm coming for zikr all these years and then look at what everything's happening, excuse me? You didn't buy a single drop of food from here and you're eating from the people who sell alcohol and cigarettes because it's two dollars less. And then you want to know if your children get contaminated or poisoned during a pandemic or you see that there's orphanages and there's programs and there's food programs and you won't pay your mortgage all fast and amass a whole amount of money in the bank that becomes itself poisonous to your soul and to your being. Means then we have to live a life that is inspired, that we connect with our heart, that we understand our situation in life, we take care of our family but most of all take care of our faith and propagate our faith and, and this is a protection and a salvation for our families inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.